In today's devlog, we're taking a look at our newly added mounts. And you don't wanna miss that, so stay put. Hi, I'm Jonas. In the last devlog, we talked about how a weird little RPG project turned into a roguelike, set in the nightmares of the pyjamas wearing boy, Billy. Before we start today's devlog, I would like to remind you that if you are interested in this type of content, click the subscribe button and the bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of my upcoming devlogs. So, like I said before, we have added mounts to our game, and I will show you all of the mounts in just a minute, so make sure to stay till the end of the video. First, I wanna talk about why we decided to add mounts to our game in the first place. Besides the fact that they make you look really cool, of course. Well, we noticed while playtesting that many times you would end up in a dead end of the map. And now you had this great distance to backtrack, with really nothing to do in the game besides just running, slowly, all the way back. As you can imagine, this was really bad for the pacing of the game to being taken out of the action for this long amount of time. So, what was our first solution to solve this problem? Well, to us it felt very obvious to add some kind of waypoint system. This way, the player could backtrack and get back into the action in an instance. However, we had already gotten some comments about our game being similar to Enter the Gungeon, and since they also have waypoints in their game, we didn't want to make our game even more similar to theirs. So, the waypoint solution had to go. Backtracking was not only a pacing problem, but also a very annoying part of working on the game. Because every time we made changes to the game and wanted to test them, we spent so much precious work time on just running slowly through the map. So, to make playtesting easier for us, I added some code to make it possible for Billy to sprint in the game. Now, we could test our changes more efficiently. We then noticed that sprinting through the rooms at high speed was also a very satisfying feeling. We thought that perhaps we should leave this sprint feature in the game. The only downside was that, even though it was very fun to run this fast, it looked very weird. Perhaps this wasn't the right solution after all. Maybe we should just go with the boring waypoint system instead. So we were close to trash this new sprint feature. But then we got a new idea. What if we keep the fast movement of the character, but we don't make it a weird looking sprint feature? What if Billy could instead use some kind of transportation to travel faster? What if we added mounts? This way it would almost be the same as sprinting, but slightly different. Now the only question was, what kind of mount should Billy have? Our first idea was to give him some kind of hoverboard, since they seem pretty popular with kids these days. But we realized quickly that a hoverboard would be a pretty boring animation, with just a billy and two wheels under his feet. Our second idea was to give him a tricycle. This would be a much more interesting animation, even though billy might be a little too old to ride a tricycle. But the game takes place in his dreams after all, so we can do whatever we want. Billy now had his tricycle. Story over, right? Well, not really. Something that you may have noticed if you follow us on Twitter, which you should by the way, links down in the description. Then you may have noticed that Billy can change outfit. Besides his pajamas, Billy can also face his nightmares as an astronaut, a dinosaur, or a pirate. We felt that using the tricycle for all outfits would look kinda boring. So we had to come up with something else for them. But fortunately, that was much easier. 
we knew that the astronaut would fly around in a spaceship. The pirate would sail in a pirate ship. And while wearing his dinosaur outfit, Billy would of course ride on a raptor. With all the mounts finished, we now had to figure out some rules of how and when to use them. For example, how fast should you be able to summon your mount? At first, we tried taking inspiration from World of Warcraft. In that game, you have to stand still in order to summon your mount. But we felt that having to stand still would kill the pacing in our game. And the reason why we implemented mounts in the first place was to solve the problem with slow pacing. So it would make more sense to be able to mount while running. And it obviously looks a lot cooler to jump onto your raptor on the move. Lastly, we had to decide when you would be able to use your mount. Using the mount in combat turned out to be pretty overpowered. So we made it so that Billy automatically dismounts when entering combat. After all, the mounts were added as a way of making backtracking less tedious, not as a way of aiding you in combat. The only thing we haven't decided yet is whether you should be able to use your mount in the bedroom, or if it should be restricted to the nightmares. Because it wouldn't really make sense to ride on a raptor in your bedroom, but at the same time it might make the game more fun. What do you guys think? Should you be able to use your mount in the bedroom or not? Let me know down in the comments. This was everything I had to show you for this devlog. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, or leave a dislike if you didn't. And make sure to also subscribe to my channel, so you don't miss any upcoming devlogs. Thanks for watching, and remember, don't let your nightmares wake you up.